The table distributing content strands shows that primary school students need to learn about natural numbers, study non-negative rational numbers represented in the form of fractions or decimals. Whether learning about natural numbers, fractions, or decimals, students need to go through the process of introducing, forming, numbering, reading numbers, writing numbers, and analyzing the structure of numbers. Students need to analyze the value of each natural number digit by digit, by place value, analyze the numerator, denominator of a fraction, analyze the integer part, decimal part, and the value of each digit in a decimal number. Specifically, grade 1 students need to read, write numbers within the range of 10, within the range of 20, within the range of 100, recognize tens and units, round numbers to the nearest 10. Grade 2 students need to read, write numbers within the range of 1,000, recognize hundreds, perform the task of writing numbers as the sum of hundreds, tens, units. Instead of determining the exact quantity when numbering, grade 2 students can determine an approximate quantity by getting acquainted with estimating the number of objects in groups of tens, Grade 3 students get acquainted with rounding numbers to the nearest 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Thus, instead of having to memorize each requirement for specific content in the 2018 mathematics curriculum, we only need to remember the names of types of tasks, establish numbers, read numbers, write numbers, analyze the structure of numbers, along with the set of numbers learned for each grade cluster to assign tasks and exercises within an appropriate scope. After becoming familiar with many numbers, students learn to compare and sort numbers. Students also learn to count forward, count backward natural numbers, mainly in grade 1 and possibly in grade 2 when the number of numbers is not too large to count. Mastering counting operations, memorizing the order of the sequence of natural numbers will help students more conveniently determine the quantity of elements in a set when comparing two numbers. Specifically, Grade 1 students need to count numbers within the range of 10, within the range of 20, within the range of 100, recognize how to compare, order numbers within the range of 100, in groups with no more than 4 numbers. Each such range is often referred to as a number cycle. Grade 2 students need to count numbers within the range of 1,000, recognize the number before, the number after a given number, recognize the number line and write the appropriate number on the number line, recognize how to compare two numbers within the range of 1,000, determine the largest or smallest number in a group of no more than four numbers, within the range of 1,000. Perform the task of arranging numbers in order, from smallest to largest or vice versa, in a group of no more than four. Numbers, within the range of 1,000. Thus, depending on the range of the set of numbers introduced in each grade cluster, primary school teachers instruct students to compare, arrange numbers, groups of no more than four numbers, or count numbers. Teaching mathematical operations is an essential part of teaching arithmetic and algebra. Primary school students spend a lot of time learning and performing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of natural numbers. 
We can always find a natural number as the result of adding or multiplying two natural numbers, therefore, addition and multiplication are operations on the set of natural numbers. However, finding a natural number as the result of subtraction or division is not always achievable. For example, the subtraction operation 1 minus 3, to solve the equation 3 plus x equals 1, the division operation 2 divided by 5, to solve the equation 5 times x equals 2, does not result in a natural number, so subtraction and division are not operations on the set of natural numbers. Moreover, we can find the addition operation corresponding to a given subtraction operation, find the multiplication operation corresponding to a given division operation. Performing the division operation for the fraction A over B is equivalent to performing the multiplication operation by B over A, the reciprocal fraction, or the inverse element of the fraction A over B. Students need to be introduced to the meaning of mathematical operations to be able to choose the appropriate operation for a situation, context, and the rules of calculation. In essence, the addition table, subtraction table, multiplication table, and division table are calculation rules that students need to memorize to perform quick calculations. Addition and subtraction are introduced from grade 1. In addition to the range of the set of numbers introduced, we should answer additional questions. Is addition, subtraction, carried over or not? Or, addition, subtraction, with remembering how many times? And then, is it consecutive or non-consecutive memorization? These questions will help us remember that first graders learn addition and subtraction without carryover, second graders learn addition and subtraction with carryover once, addition and subtraction in grade 3 are memorized no more than twice and non-consecutive, addition and subtraction in grade 4 are memorized no more than three times non-consecutive. For multiplication and division, grade 2 students currently only need to learn the 2 multiplication table and 2 division table, the 5 multiplication table, and 5 division table. The remaining multiplication and division tables are taught in grade 3. After learning the basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division tables, Students continue to learn calculation rules to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of numbers with multiple digits, where vertical positioning can be helpful. We also need to note that the 2018 mathematics curriculum has reduced the workload compared to before. Students now only need to perform multiplication and division with two-digit numbers. For examples, grade 4 students only need to perform addition and subtraction of fractions where one denominator is divisible by the remaining denominators, while grade 5 students will find the common denominator by multiplying the denominators without finding the least common multiple. Teachers can assign relevant exercises and introduce special elements such as the number 0 for addition and the number 1 for multiplication. Grade 3 students become familiar with inverse elements in the form of 1 slash n, where n is a natural number from 2 to 9, which we can refer to as students getting acquainted with fractions. The properties of mathematical operations are learned from grade 3. Specifically, 
the commutative and associative properties are learned when considering only addition or multiplication. And the distributive property of multiplication over addition. In practice, Students may learn different methods to find results when multiplying a number by a sum, multiplying a sum by a number, multiplying a number by a difference, multiplying a difference by a number, dividing a sum by a non-zero number, and dividing a difference by a non-zero number. The associative property allows the extension of operations from two operands to multiple operands, forming the basis for introducing numerical expressions in grade 3, which, before, in grades 1 and 2, used the term mathematical operation, and the rules for evaluating the value of expressions. Replacing numbers with variables allows for the introduction of expressions containing variables, making it more convenient to present the commutative, associative, and distributive properties in the form of formulas and mathematical expressions. The appearance of expressions containing variables, problems involving substituting numbers with blank spaces, the use of symbols like X for students to fill in appropriate numbers in the blanks, which can start as early as grades 1 and 2, and the introduction of finding X or solving for unknown components, from grade 3, are typical contents of algebra. Understanding the main topics in the structure of arithmetic and algebra combined with the scope of the number sets introduced at each grade level, allows us to remember all the requirements for the knowledge framework in each grade. We also need to note that in the 2018 mathematics curriculum, Word problems are integrated into the knowledge frameworks, starting as early as grade 1. Students are required to solve simple problems with up to two computational steps in grade 3, up to three steps in grade 4, and up to four steps in grade 5. By examining the structural perspective of number sets, we can easily outline the types of tasks and exercises that need to be organized when teaching arithmetic and algebra content in primary school. Specifically, count numbers, identify, establish numbers. This can involve identifying a drawing corresponding to a given quantity, determining the exact quantity or estimating the quantity for a given drawing slash object group or rounding numbers. Read numbers, write numbers in Arabic or Roman numerals. Analyze the structure of numbers, which means breaking down numbers into the sum of several numbers determining the value of digits in a natural or decimal number, or identifying the numerator and denominator of a fraction. Compare numbers, order numbers within a group of up to four numbers. Perform operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, calculate the value of expressions, either mentally, set up the operation for a given calculation, or solve word problems, find unknown components in calculations.